division strategy one and two, uh, the opposite extension ladder using basic facts. In this case, we're going to use our basic facts to do some division divisions, and then we're going to use our opposite extension ladder by moving the decimal point to the left and shortening the ladder. Uh, the number of places we move the decimal is the same as the numbers, uh, number of zeros in the divisor. That's the number we're dividing by. Strategy works for all tidy number devices like 20 or 300 or 4,000. Let's have a look at, uh, see, give me a five examples. First one, a car costs $4,000. How many $20 notes will you need to buy it? So obviously we're going to have to divide our cost, our 4,000 by 20 to find out how many $20 notes we'll need. The first thing we look at is, is there a basic fact that we know in here? Well, yes, there is. We know four divided by two. So we can do four divided by two, which is of course two, but it's not four divided by two, it's 4,000 divided by two. So we pop in the three zeros, one, two, three. Now we use the, so that's a basic fact. Now we use the opposite extension ladder and we think to ourselves, we weren't dividing by two, this is the divisor, and it had one zero in it. So if we've got one zero in our in our divisor, we have to move the decimal point one place to the left in our answer. So it's not 2,000, it's going to move across to in between the, the zeros at the end there, and it's going to become 200. So the answer to that question, 4,000, uh, how many $20 notes to make 4,000, the answer is 200. Okay? So it's a basic fact, and then the opposite extension ladder. Let's look at the next one. Your water bottle holds 500 millilitres. How many times do you need to fill it to get six litres of drink? Well, six litres is 6,000 millilitres. So first of all, we need to make sure we convert our six litres to millilitres. And we want to see how many times, or share that out into our 500 mil bottle. How many times do we have to fill our 500 mil bottle to get 6,000 6, millilitres? Again, we look and see, is there a basic fact we know here? Well, we know that 5 goes into 60, because uh, 5 goes into anything that uh, ends in 0. So we can do 60 divided by 5, first of all. 60 divided by 5 is 12. Then we need to think about, um, oh, so 60 divided by t uh, is 12, uh, but we've got the two other zeros. So we need to put those other two zeros on, because it's not 60 divided by 5. It was 6,000 divided by 5. So there's the two zeros. Okay. So 60 divided by 5 is 12. And there's two more zeros. So they're the two zeros. So far, so good. Now we need to think about our um, opposite extension ladder. Because we weren't dividing by 5. We were dividing by 500. Okay. So we pop our decimal point in at the end. We used, in this number here, we had 60. And here we had the 5, so 60 divided by 5. That leaves us two more zeros in the device. So hopefully you can see there are two zeros in the device. Okay. Now we, so we need to move our decimal point two places back along. Okay. Two places there. So it's going to pop in between the 12 and the, uh, the first zero. And that gives us our answer. Our answer is 12. You are going to have to fill your bottle 12 times to get 6,000 litres of 6,000 millilitres of fluid. Again, it was a basic fact and then the opposite extension ladder. Let's look at one more example. You need to get uh, $3,500 out from the bank. They give it to you in $50 notes. How many 50s will they give you to make sure you get 3,500? This is very good, you know, worth checking in the real world when you go to the bank, you might get the money out for a car or something. So, we need to divide $3,500 into $50 notes. So $3,500 divided by 50 is what we're trying to work out here. Again, we look to us um, basic facts and think, is there a basic fact we can see here? Hopefully, if you know your five times table, you'll see that you can do 35 divided by five. That's a basic fact, okay? 35 divided by five, there it is, is seven, okay? But we need to remember it wasn't 35, it was 3,500, so we've got to pop our two zeros in. There they are. Then we look at our divisor. Were we dividing by five? No, we weren't. We were dividing by 50 with one zero. 
So if our decimal point was here after the 700, one zero would mean we would move it back one place. Okay, we move it back one place and the answer is 70 or 70.0. Okay, another example there of a basic fact we could see 35 divided by five, got the answer uh, and then we did our opposite extension ladder to um, cancel out the fact we were dividing by a multiple of 10. Okay, if you're not sure about that strategy, it's quite difficult. Have a look through again. Um, ask some other people who are doing this strategy if they can help you out and have a go at some of the practice questions. Show me so I can see how you're getting on and I can talk you through this one a little bit more in person because it is a tricky strategy. It involves looking for basic facts first and then using your opposite extension ladder by the uh, number of zeros in the divisor.